I'm a little nervous. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wanna know about what I should be feeling okay. and pain. So yeah, we ice you a little bit before okay. and you can take that away. Then I have you raise your eyebrows up. Um, I did put all the people who entered in for the crystal giveaway. What's up you guys, it's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, a freelance makeup artist, a YouTuber, a mom. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time checking me out, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're also an esthetician or maybe you're somebody who loves skincare, who loves beauty. This video is gonna be a little different than what I've normally put out on my channel. Usually I do videos for other estheticians. This video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you something pretty personal. I just turned 29 about a week and a half ago and i'm rolling up on my last year of my 20s going into the 30s and so these are kind of the times where we as women start to think about you know um wrinkles and things that need to have a little bit of alteration i've actually never had anything cosmetic or no surgeries anything like that and i would share that with you guys if I ever did decide to pursue any of that. Me being transparent, my under eyes have always been something that I've been a bit self-conscious about just because I think it's just because of lack of sleep and because I do have allergies, I rub my eyes a lot so I have I have accumulated some pigmentation under my eyes and also like I'm starting to get, you know, some of like a little bit of the fine lines around my eyes as well. I made an appointment today to go to a medical office that offers these services and it was referred to me through a friend. I'm gonna be getting under eye fillers and possibly Botox. I'm gonna talk to him and see what he thinks about what he thinks that I need and whatnot. Mainly getting it more so for preventative reasons and also because I have a lot of clients that do ask me about what I think about fillers, what I think about Botox, and if they should get it. And so in a way I want to experience this and be able to share this with you guys and also my clients because I get asked a lot and I really have little to no knowledge about it. So this will be kind of an educational <laughs> thing for me as well. I wanted to take you guys along with me um let me know if this is kind of content that you like to see as well because uh, i might try to get some other things done at some point but for now i wanted to start off with something small and i am a little bit nervous about needles so we'll see how the whole process is i'll obviously let you guys know about pain levels and aftercare and things like that so if any of that interests you then make sure you continue watching This guy will see this as an opportunity. Okay, so now they're just having me sign some copyright notices, a little form. Okay, so now I'm seated inside of the office. This comfy ass chair. And I'm waiting for Dr. Strack to come, so. I'm gonna talk to him, see if he's down to let me record. Oh, we wait, let's creep a little. There's needles. Ah! Needles! So if you look, what we see is when you frown, this is this line we prevent with Botox. Mm -hmm. When we inject the Botox, frown again, this is the muscle, you can see it moving. I put Botox, 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 Botox. So unlike mm -hmm. filler, you don't go in the wrinkle, you okay. go in the muscle. Got it. it will prevent that line from getting deeper. Then if you raise your brows up, another muscle is doing this and this. Mm -hmm. Very light, just like five units there. Okay. This combination will allow these, this area right here to be strong and lift your brow up like that. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the brow lift. Smile. Mm -hmm. You have almost nothing down here. I don't even think you need to do any there. You okay. could do a unit here if we really wanted to. Then you come down to the tear trough. Mm -hmm. So if you mentioned wrinkles under your eyes, yeah. This and this, I would go with Botox in because this is a wrinkle. Oh, okay. So the wrinkle is Botox. The little hollow right here mm -hmm. is filler. I would do a partial syringe of very little filler and I'd lay it okay. right in that hollow right there. Okay. That is a much more fussy injection. It can be lumpy and it can bruise, but on young people like you with good skin, I usually don't see much bruising or lumpiness. Okay. With fill fillers down here, you want to go a little deeper with the fill so that you don't leave cobblestones or bumps. 
Okay. Um, also, people always worry if this is going to hurt more here. It really doesn't. You'll be shocked how easy it is. So it's more of a technical thing about not getting lumps. Okay. I'm about to go to Arizona this coming weekend. Does that, does sunlight or... Like... Oh, it won't matter. Okay. The only thing that could happen is occasionally with this or this, you can get a serious, a real bruise. Okay. So maybe your one option is we just do your Botox before you go to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then you do this area. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. But it can bruise a little bit. Probably since you're young, it won't matter. Okay. It's only Tuesday. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll grab it. Yeah. I want to, like, so you're suggesting... I'm going the... light units okay. here. I do no units here, probably. Maybe one poke. And uh, up here, I'd only do 16 units at the most. Okay. We go as high as 50 or 60. You're doing 16. Okay. Pretty standard for a young person like you. More about prevention. That's what's nice about starting young. You can do it pretty affordably and keep those lines away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted to do. Okay. okay. I'll bring it in. I'll bring okay. in a little Botox. Thank I'll you. use Bellatero under on your eyes. Okay. Restylane can leave a little bit of a blue hue under there that I don't like. Oh, really? Juvederm can be too thick under okay. there. Okay. So that's how I choose the Bellatero. Okay. So I'll be right in. All right. Thank Thanks, Thank you. We'll get you set. I'm a little nervous. We'll see though. I mean, I want to be able to see the difference. I don't want to just pay for something that's not going to make it go away. So I'm excited. He's cool. I like him. I like his energy. And he seems knowledgeable. So I'm sold. Yeah, which is good. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to know about what I should be feeling okay. and pain. What What is your feedback usually about Usually that? the Botox, the needle on Botox is super small. It's a 32 okay. gauge needle. It's the smallest okay. needle made. It's really small. The poke doesn't usually hurt, but the Botox itself burns just a teeny bit. Okay. If you want to be proactive, you can ice the Botox area just a little bit okay. so you can hold that. Okay. I don't think topical numbing creams work for the Botox okay. because um, it doesn't get deep down to the muscle and the muscles where it burns. And numbing cream can't penetrate deep enough to get to that. I think numbing creams are highly effective when it comes to lips because they cross the lips really fast. Oh, okay. Lip injections tend to be the most painful anyway, so it's good to use it for lips. Okay. For Botox, I just keep it simple. I go with ice. I inject a lot of Botox, probably 50 people a day. Oh, wow. So I'm extremely speedy. So okay. it, it, it really takes the pain away. So yeah, we ice you a little bit before, and you can take that away. Then I have you raise your eyebrows up. That shows me that dynamic muscle right there. I go into the level of the muscle and I put a drop on the muscle. That just it, feels a little stingy, uh -huh, a little yeah. poke. Yeah, you can tell them that. Frown, same thing. This is your strong one. So poke, there's a nerve right there. Oh, Occasionally yeah, that hurts. That's, that's your superorbital nerve. Yeah. Good. Best to close your eyes, people. There you go. I'm gonna let you walk through that part. I'll focus on the shot. You're a great patient. Almost done. Corrugator, nasalis, frontalis. Those are the muscles of the forehead that we inject. Okay. I leave this frontalis intact to raise you up. Okay. And it will do that. So we're done with that. Now I let you go back. Good. Oh. More people are more scared of the tear trough injection just because it's close to the eye. That really is irrelevant and it really doesn't hurt that bad. Okay. There's a lot of mythology out there that says, you know, don't. Um, take a nap, don't exercise. I'm not sure any of that stuff matters, so I let my people do all those things. Okay. It's certainly a widespread belief that you shouldn't exercise or um, lay on it, but I've never seen that play a role in anything. Okay. So what I, about um, getting facials? I people know say the same thing. It could move the product around, so you could maybe stay one for a day or two, but within a couple days, it's bound the muscle. Okay, my so like three, is, four days at yeah. least. I think that's good for facial, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The concentration of my mixture is very high. It's it's a concentrated dosage because we mix our own Botox. Everyone does. So now I'll go to here. Okay. So what I have people do here, I'm going just for this hollow right here. I have people slightly look up and that exaggerates the hollow. I don't want to be right under the skin. And I just pop a little under there. You're real easy. A, an older person to your trough can be very difficult, but it doesn't hurt much, right? No. Yeah. I'm just moving around right down there by that bone. 
And so I'm down by the bone, even though it doesn't hurt that much. Biggest mistake on a tear trough injection is injecting right under the skin, because then you'll get a cobblestone there. Okay. Our goal with a tear trough is to take the fatigue and tiredness away. I think my highest patient satisfaction rate is on people in your age group. They love it. They send their friends and they come back. I think because it doesn't tend to look up again perfect. That shows it perfectly. Because it's a lower maintenance injection on them, they don't get as puffy. Mm -hmm. Older people, sometimes they need their eyes done. They need other things, so. I know this side hurts a little more. Yeah. Other nice thing about tear troughs, doesn't take much product, so it's affordable. And it lasts a very long time, like nine months. Lips three to four months. Okay. You did it. Ooh. You're not gonna have any significant bruise. Then I have people gently mold, just like that. That's all you gotta do. And I don't see anything going on on you, it was perfect. So what, what's molding? Just you use the cheek, if, if it gets lumpy, mm -hmm. you just kind of press down against the cheek bone okay. to just disperse the product okay. so that it stays more even. The cheek kind of acts like a template, you know, and it just gives you something to mold. Oh, against. wow, I really notice a difference. Like, oh, it like, works. Wow. Young people like you, like I said, do my best. So good work. Thank you. You did it. You were a great patient. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, it was just a little stingy. Yeah, Your eyes passed. watered a bit, but quick. it was doable for sure. Excellent. Wow, thank you, doctor. Thank you for coming in. I yeah. usually have people come back for the Botox in three to four months. Okay. And I have people come back for the tear trough in nine to 12 months. Perfect. All right. Thank you. You're well, awesome. good. I hope you were. And ready. I heard that you guys are doing facials. What kind of facials do you do here? I, I don't do as many of the facials. I do tons of lasers. So I okay. do a laser facial. What so kind I of do, lasers? I do uh, Fraxel lasers 1927, 1550. They're mainly for tightening of the skin and brown spots in the skin. Okay. I do them with numbing cream, an hour of numbing, and I do a lot of IPLs too. Okay. Yeah. Those are my two workhorses. Okay. I might have to check that out at okay. some point. Okay. Yeah. I've got well, some freckles and sun damage. You got to be careful with your skin color. You got to go yeah. real light. Yeah. Oh, But you're in the business, that. so you know. I do so bad. Okay. Makes me trust you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Bye, doctor. Thank, Thank you. You guys see the difference already? That's crazy. Wow. All right, well, I'm looking a few years younger. I don't know what you guys think, um, but I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna keep you guys posted with the aftercare and what I experienced maybe with bruising and things like that. Obviously, I'm a little red right now. Still, this one, I don't know why this eye hurt a little bit more than the other, but. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep you guys posted on um, what happens tonight and the next few days. So stay tuned. Wow, okay, now you can really see in the light. I, I can seriously tell the difference. Obviously, this part, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get rid of that pigment, but I just, my eyes look so much more awake. Um, but you're probably wondering how much it was. So. I don't know how many he he said it in the video i don't remember but um cost wise it was 426 dollars so for me to only have to come back i think he said three to four months for the botox and then nine months for the filler that's not bad so especially starting out young before the wrinkles get deeper like he said is probably better so that's crazy it's like my muscles don't move as much when I talk. That's weird. <laughs> so it's been a few hours since I had my Botox fillers done. The redness pretty much went away. I am seeing like a little bit of bruising right here, if you can tell the little like blue hue right there. But no pain. Um, I thought maybe a little bit afterwards I was kind of feeling a little bit of like soreness in a way, like but it's nothing that I have to have had to take medication for. So yeah, I was actually just watching the footage that you guys just saw and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. That's seriously what you can expect um, getting it done. So I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling okay. I'm just here at home hanging out. Devin's playing with my grandma. I'm about to clean up my room a little bit. And yeah, so I'll see you guys when I check in next time. Peace out. Hey y'all, so it's the second day after getting the Botox fillers. 
And today I actually decided to put on a little bit of concealer today and fill in my eyebrows a little bit. But again, still just leaving my face pretty bare and still being very gentle in the areas that were treated. Um, but I, I think today most definitely I'm noticing like more lift in my eyebrows. Like I just feel like this space is just so much more open. Really liking that. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you remember me saying earlier that I am taking a trip to Arizona tomorrow. Probably like show some clips of that for you guys, but I will be announcing the giveaway winner. So make sure you continue watching because you're going to want to see who wins this crystal giveaway. So stay tuned. Good morning. Excuse the crazy hair. We're here in Arizona at the hotel and I was going to start putting on makeup for the first time and I noticed that my bruise got a little bit more color to it. But that's it, and then like a little bit of bruising here. You can see it a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's that's the main update. Um, I'm definitely seeing still that the under eyes just look more awake. I feel like my brows have been kind of like slowly lifting. Um, we're gonna just go and check out Sedona today. We're in Phoenix right now. We're gonna go to Sedona today, so I'll try to take some clips and take you along with us. So we found this cute little brunch spot. What's up y'all? So I'm back here in Cali. I just got back yesterday. So it's officially been about a week since I had the Botox done. And I shared with you guys kind of what, what I experienced over this last week. And obviously your results could be different. Your client's results could be different, but I feel like I really enjoyed it. Cause it just helps to not, your eyes to not look as sunken in. And that kind of helps with pigmentation. Um, and then immediately I noticed that my my brow and my forehead didn't like move as much So now I notice too when I make expressions like I can't actually like Frown all the way like the muscles like literally can't and I remember before when he ha Injected me as you saw in the video you could see how deep my brows would like furrow in when I flex those muscles So I literally can't even like move them as deeply as I used to. So that's pretty much what to, what you can expect. Wherever you get the Botox, you're not gonna be able to flex as much. I decided to not wear makeup today so that you guys can see what I look like without makeup so you can get a better idea of this. You know, I showed you guys I had gotten a little bit of a bruise here and it's, it's pretty much almost gone. So that was the extent of what bruising I experienced. So thankfully that was, that was it. And I looked good on my trip. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for continuing to watch this video. Um, I did put all the people who entered in for the crystal giveaway into this wheel randomizer, name randomizer. So I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see. All right, here we go. Congrats. I did put your Instagram name because part of the requirement for the giveaway was to post on Instagram. Actually, I will post on Instagram so that you know that you won. We'll talk about which crystal you want and of course I will send that to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys again for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a, something different than what I've previously shown on my channel and let me know if you guys like this kind of content. I do plan on trying some other sort of treatments. Like I've never had a hydrofacial, I've never had microneedling. Those are kind of treatments that I get asked about a lot. I would like to see kind of the experience of it myself. So if you enjoy seeing things like this where I do different treatments or I test out certain products or something, let me know if that's something you wanna see more in the future. As always, I post new content every Monday, so that's what you can expect from me if you're subscribed to my channel. This next video, I'm gonna be sharing something really, really exciting with you guys. So make sure you tune in next Monday to hear that announcement. And of course, I will see you guys then. Love you guys, bye.